Well, I had a little problem here. 30 cents a package from down south. And I opened it up on camera, of course, and then found out later, uh, sometime while I was making the video, somebody had tried to call me. And it shut the, the video off in the middle. You know, it, it just freaked out. So we missed part of it. So I, I actually got it all opened. And this will probably be easier to go through because uh, he had it wrapped up with electrical tape and she took a considerable hacker to get that, that open. But there, this is definitely southern stuff. Well, except for, well, okay, there was a couple of these, you know, beer cozy kind of things. And I actually think this one might work for Miller. And this one, I'm not real sure what it fits. Some gloves that I had never heard of before. Now, these are interesting. They're actually heavier than what the Wells Vermont is. North Star, White Ox. But they seem like a, actually a very heavy duty. And like here now, they're canvas back rather than this flannel kind of stuff. Well, my hands are kind of dirty. I've been putting a Volkswagen together, the motor, before I went out to get mail. Louisiana hot sauce. One drop does it. Well, that's about a lifetime supply for me. Oof, medieval boiled peanuts. And I still don't understand why anybody would ever boil a peanut. But peanuts are kind of a potato, so I guess there's a, there's, there's a reasoning behind it. A uh, small thing of corned beef hash, which is actually a pretty nice size. You know, normally your can is twice as big. This would actually... Well, I'll, I'll kind of hang on to this, because you could actually make this in, like, even a Sierra cup. Would be... You know, it wouldn't overfill it. That's pretty good stuff, though. It's something I never used to eat, but uh, since people have started sending their stuff, I eat it. Well, there's a couple of these, but these are spooky. They look, in theory, like Vienna sausages. Which I'm a little queasy on anyway. <laughs> but you read the ingredients on this is enough to freak you out. Mechanically separated chicken. And I'm okay, you know, I think got machines that do this, tear chicken apart. Kind of a chicken shredding device. But then, chicken skin, pork skin, pork spleens, pork stomachs. Oof. You know, that's about everything. They couldn't find some other way to sell. And they made into these weird little sausages. You'd have to be goddamn hungry. I would prefer to eat a gopher. Cocktail okra. Hmm. Well, they've been around for over a hundred years, so evidently somebody eats pickled the okra. Weird alien looking stuff. Golden Eagle syrup. Now looking at this, it's a blend of corn syrup, cane sugar syrup, molasses, and honey. Now I don't know if you would use this like on cornbread, but I think it's one of these things that, you know, they've got the recipe for pecan pie. Uh, a food which I have had and found not to my taste. Uh, it's just horribly sweet. And buffalo wing sauce. So I think this is probably be used more in cooking and other recipes than it is as a syrup. Tabasco peppers. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Again, what are them? <laughs> I think Salty Shellback eats that kind of stuff. Honey glazed pecans, which I guess if you're making your pecan pie, that would be the ticket. But they're probably pretty good just where they are. Grits. Now, people are convinced they should be eating grits. And I have tried them. And somehow to me they always seem kind of pointless. But I can see, you know, if a guy grew up with them. But this I could eat, you know, uh, I mean, I, if I was hungry enough. But even, you know, they're just different. Creole seasoning. Okay, it's just a kind of a mix of all kinds of different seasonings. Salt, red pepper, black pepper, chili powder, garlic powder. So it's just kind of a blend of everything thrown together. Nothing too unusual involved there. And which is always good. Uh, speaking of the unusual, this is more than unusual, this is terrifying. I have nightmares about these. Pig's feet. And I tell you guys down there, don't waste anything. I don't know how you can find meat on a pig foot. Well, the official snack of the South. Well, I'm never going down South. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, you know, you do see these around here in some of the older dive type bars. They will have a jar of pickled pig's feet that God could have been laying there for years. And pickled turkey gizzards too, you see. Now, you know, people wouldn't normally eat them, but you get them drunk enough, and they will do it. But I have never been that drunk. But I think my brother, my brother will eat these, I think. I should save these for deer hunting. If they have fools that eat them, get them a little boozed up, I think they eat them. The Wickle is a wicked garden mix. So it's pickled, well, that's cucumbers. Then cauliflower and onion. And bell pepper. So it's kind of just assorted garden stuff. Oh, those are tiny little onions. Oh, there's a cauliflower lurking. <laughs> I tell you, the only thing I like pickled is pickles. <laughs> Dill pickles. You start pickling other stuff, you lose me. Oh, assorted tobacco and the corn cob pipe. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know if you find them anymore. That says Missouri Meerschaum. Yeah, that is a classic though. Sutliff. Uh, three different types there, and then another one. Uh, I don't know. One cube. Well, they limited. I don't know what that would mean. No, oh, then a regular half a hank. So it's good to know other people can find it too. I mean, I've been getting them, you know, because it says right on Made in USA, the regular. In fact, that'll go right in my pocket. Now, also in here was a Pilot G2. 
are my favorite thing. Though I don't often get the blue, I tend to go with the black, but the blue's all right. That'll go in my pocket. And these all Bicronauts. Yo, these are good. Um, generally, I don't think you can get in trouble for carrying them. Well, I think they were getting people in trouble for carrying nail files and whatnot, so. But if you're leading a gentlemanly life, this probably does the trick for you. You know, because even these little blades, they're sharper than a razor. And it's got the, you know, the nail file, which is kind of a different kind of file, you know, it's a, and then a little screwdriver on it, and the scissors, which, I tell you, they're handy. Well, and the toothpick and the tweezers. You know, I, I pretty much, you know, I carry that field master. And, and, but these are the minimum knife you should have. Mm, I think that does it. Now we'll see if this is actually recorded. Yeah, I've never had that happen before, but I've always known it was a possibility. Nope, seems to be operating yet. No, well, okay, I'll go into one other thing then. When I did that video yesterday, I was talking about my head clamped the camera onto the window. Now, this is the mount that I used that I had bought for $5 at a rummage sale. It's a Nikon. Works perfect if I roll my window so it's only, you know, like an inch up. This clamps on. Stay steady, very adjustable. You know, actually a pretty good mount. I'll have to do some more experiment and do it a little ride along with this. The only thing I found uh, when it's on there, you know, my M37, the the muffler, which is a cherry bomb muffler, ends right underneath the cab there, so you get a lot of noise from the motor in the video. If it's running, my, my regular camera might be different. You know, it might not pick it up like my phone does. So I'll have to try the regular camera on it one day. But it does seem to work. A good stable mount. You know, and it, uh, it, you know, it doesn't shake around. As long as you're not going fast, you wouldn't have the wind noise. So this I'm pleased with that. Well, <laughs> thanks to the southern gentleman, but I think people are trying to kill me with this stuff. Oh, these pig feet, man, that's, uh, like I say, I like nightmares about them. And you couldn't make me eat these. You know, at least I guess you can make me eat, but uh, very cautiously, very cautiously. You know, a lot of this stuff is useful. I always thought, you know, some of the stuff that people send me, especially, you know, this, this freakish southern stuff, you know how when uh, like Boy Scouts will have their food drive where you're supposed to donate canned goods? That oh my God, what a dirty trick it would be when they come around collecting canned goods and give them stuff like this. <sighs> that would sit on the shelf in a food pantry for a long time. This, yeah, yeah, that's a usable thing. You know, okra. You know, I guess if maybe somebody drifted too who, who had came from down south originally, this would be a taste of home, but i tell you around here, this stuff would, would sit on that shelf forever. Nobody is that hungry. Like I said, I'd sooner eat a gopher. <laughs> well, we'll think about this. You know, uh, I was actually going to get some pancakes served for one day. Forgot it. Well, I have to maybe try this, though, you know, this isn't really... You know, it doesn't, it has molasses, but it does not have 
any maple content whatsoever. But she's gluten free. <laughs> Still don't know what the hell a gluten is, I'm not concerned about them. Well, <laughs> thanks, but woo, I swear sometimes you guys are trying to kill me.